it's the same thing as like, you know, scripture, you say, how do you humble yourself? I don't even know how to do that myself. So I think a lot of times it's just, okay, God, like I'm here because I feel like I'm called to do this in this season of my life. It's been really hard, to be honest. Like, was a worship leader for 17 years, and so I've been done the full time on staff church, but that was also hard. And it's like when you're a worship leader and that's part of your job, you have to be very intentional. And even, you know, as, as of late, it's been really a great thing because I think sometimes, you know, one of the things I keep hearing is the recipe for revival is desperation. That's it. I think for me, even in seasons where I've gotten real dry, and honestly, like, Doing this for a living has been detrimental to my spiritual life. And so I've had to figure out, okay, like God, you knew what this was gonna look like. You know, and as much as I know, you've led me to do this, so help me not to die inside. The good thing is, is it is a machine, but at the same time, there's, there's a lot of people that are just doing the thing as best they know that God's called them to. And we can't necessarily, you know, people can't necessarily be responsible for whether, when people put them on an on a, a undue pedestal. What you can do is decide whether you actually believe that or not, or whether you just kind of go, yeah, we both know that's, that's not who I am. I have, to, I have to fight pretty hard, to be honest, and sometimes I don't always win that. Sometimes I get real dry. Just being real honest, there's been a couple times where I've sat in worship in church and I've been like, can we just get to the message? And some of that's because I don't know how to turn off all kinds of conflicting emotions. It's, you know, there's the motion as a writer of like, man, I wish I'd written that. Sometimes you're, you're a lyric or as a lyricist, you're like, man, I wish, could we not say that differently? But also know that that also could have made me miss some great worship songs that when I was a worship leader and turned off that filter and led them, I was like, oh man, this super repetitive thing is very powerful. And so like even my own preferences like can get in the way. Oh, that's Jesus doing something good through them, right? We're called to love God.